Howdy folks, this is my let's play of Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green. Let's go ahead and start up a new game here. Although the living dead will devour any part of the human body, they especially crave fresh brains. Okay, we are one second into the game and there is already a major error. Romero zombies do not eat brains, that's the Return of the Living Dead series. So, um, good start. So, you want to know how I got here? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you my story. It all started like this. I just finished feeding the hogs when the power went out. That happens from time to time out here in the country. I tried calling the electric company, but the lines were dead. Now, I didn't think too much of it at the time. Later that day, I noticed a stranger in my yard. Something wasn't right with him. The way he was just standing there. I went out to see what he wanted. Okay, um, Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green. In this game, we play uh, Farmer Jack, uh, who apparently has a fear of people loitering in his yard. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is talk to the guy out here. Get off my lawn! Whoa, not a fan of my Eastwood impersonation, apparently. I love how one guy hits me and my objective immediately switches to save myself and shoot everyone in the yard. Um, I think that's a little excessive. I'll give you an idea of the melee in the game. Uh, left click with a melee weapon is a quick attack that does, uh, really, that's about it, just a quick attack. And the right click is a knockdown. Oh, and, okay, I like this door. Oh, up here, uh, as you see, we just ripped off Max Payne, and we'll probably be sued for that. Okay, so like any farmer, I store my gun in the attic. 22 rifle. Remember the motto. If they're dead, shoot them in the head. Oh, that was get in the head. Gotta get him in the head. Ah, it didn't do anything. There are three ways to kill a zombie in this game. I either do enough damage that they actually die, decapitate them, or blow off three limbs. Now, the 22 rifle is not strong enough to actually do any of those last two, so we have to shoot them until they die. It doesn't matter where we shoot them, it'll take four shots to kill them they're a regular zombie every time. I'll try to use it as sparingly as possible because it is quite boring to watch someone shoot this thing. What's that? <laughs> I do enjoy the ragdoll physics in the game. Oh, come on. This first level is extremely scripted. As you see there, it's telling me to get my gun out of the shed. Uh, commando style, I guess. Now, that message doesn't ever pop up until you run out of ammo with your 22. Uh, and of course it's locked and I have to get it out of the basement. I think the key in the basement might be a slight reference to the first Night of the Living Dead, where, you know, they couldn't find the key and it ended up being in the basement. Of course, can't go through it that way. I just hope I don't run into a little girl with a garden trowel. Oh, nope. Well, that was anticlimactic. Let me just waste this giant health kit and find the key. Yeah. Why is it in there? No oh, crap. That was a bad door to open. Oh, don't bite me. I'll take care of you in a second. And Jack's heart just blew a valve. I guess you can't sprint more than 20 feet in this game. Okay, time for some new weapons. The revolver actually is strong enough to decapitate, so I can kill these zombies in one hit. Well, I should be able to. Come on! Yeah, see, they can decapitate in one hit. Come on. Okay, last chance. I'm gonna prove it. There we go. The revolver brings to light a major, major problem with this game, which is the horrible hit detection, uh, coupled with, I guess, the terrible hitboxes on the creatures, means that uh, the crosshairs are more like a suggestion of where you might hit. Oh yes, the hammer. Well, this thing really came in handy when I opened up that Chinese puzzle box. Break my wall. Yeah. Uh, the hammer actually is quite... Quite a terrible weapon. Come here, you big head. Uh, however, unlike the uh, fists, it actually is strong enough to kill a zombie. 
there's a video on YouTube where I might, I think I'll, I'll try to link to it, where somebody used their fist and killed a zombie on easy in about two and a half minutes using just the fists. So, yeah, fists aren't for killing. But the hammer, as you can, wow, there goes all my health. Uh, the hammer proves useless because of how terrible the range is and how slow it is to knock down a creature. The uh, shovel here is a huge improvement. However, I I can never get the timing down on swinging it. Uh, as soon as I kill this last zombie, the level will end. Come here. Yeah. Ugh. yeah. Don't know why I did that. I'll talk about that later. Um. Yeah. Great. Good job. All right. Should be one more hit. Ah. There we go. Okay, the cornfield level. Shooting off a of flesh feasters, that's hard to say. Arms makes him a lot less dangerous. Watch out though, he can still bite. I killed the strangers. It was them or me. The poor devils looked like they fell in a septic tank and festered for a few days. I'd never killed no one before, so I sure was real spooked. I decided to head over to my neighbors across the cornfield. I just didn't feel safe hanging around here all by myself. And instead of being smart, Jack decides to walk to his neighbors a couple of miles away instead of taking his truck. Good job, Jack. Showing us real intelligence. Okay, welcome to the cornfield. This is more like the haystack, but we'll get to that in a bit. Oh, hey, a new zombie type. The little exorcist crawlers. Things. Uh, their arms and legs cannot be shot off. You can only kill them with the headshot or the regular four-shot method. Oh, okay. And yes, they can scuttle a little bit faster than the walking zombies. Quite annoying creatures. Kind of hard to shoot, especially with the revolver. I try not to get in melee range with them because it's just they'll they'll kill you pretty easily, or at least they'll maul on you a little bit, and that's never fun. Okay, I'm gonna spoil about half the game right here. Any zombie that's in this prone position can get up and bite you, unless there's flies flying around. Gotta make sure though. Oh, you heard me do that, huh? Okay, switch my weapon. Up. Oh, that brings us to another problem with the game. If you run out of ammo and try to switch your weapons, you won't immediately switch your weapon. You will reload first and then switch afterwards. So that can get you killed. That is a very, very stupid bug. I don't know why I always look back there. There's never anything. The only thing of value is over here, and it's usually just useless stuff. Oh, wow. That was helpful. Fantastic. You know, there's really no point for me to kill this zombie. That's not even the same way, and there's nothing down here to grab. I just wasted your time right there. Oh, not gonna waste your time here. I know this one pops up every time. <sighs> Scary. Oh, here's a staple of every first person shooter ever an exploding barrel. Check these out. Yeah, wimpiest barrels ever. But you gotta have them in a first person shooter. They should be red though. Way to reload awesome, Jack. Oh, wow, that shot was about three feet away from her head, but it counted anyway. Yeah. Oh, look, another one. Oh. Save my revolver ammo for my head. I love the way he reloads that thing. Sure, he'll have arthritis when he gets old, but hey, he's got style. Time for the awesome driving minigame. Nah, I'm just kidding. That doesn't do anything. Just up ahead is the autosave for this level, and I think I'm going to end the, uh, this first part there before we run out of time. Uh, join me next time when we go through the cornfield and possibly make it to the neighbor's houses. 
Uh, if you got any suggestions or questions, leave them, leave me a comment, and I'll try to answer them in the videos if they are either really good or really bad. If I can just make it over this refrigerator barricade. Wow, that's that's pretty that's pretty redneck. <laughs>